Goff on his way. With David and Jonathan this week is an ex-soccer player with the Dallas Sidekicks, who's now the presenter of the US version of Match of the Day. In fact, he's just like Gary Lineker, except he's got a programme to present every week. <laughs> Kevin Flynn. <laughs> and of course, we are pleased to welcome back Gary Lineker as team captain. And with Gary and Rory is the man who sits behind Matthew Pinsent in Britain's all-conquering rowing pair, who says he's sick of having to look at Matthew's arse every morning. Not as sick as Matthew is of him hogging the duvet all night. <laughs> James Cracknell. <laughs> yes, Gary's back from his holiday. At least he says he was on holiday. There are other theories, for instance, that he ran off to join the Austro-Hungarian army in World War I, as this still from 1914 shows. <laughs> Seriously, though, we're being unfair on Gary. He really has been on holiday with his other half. He's been to San Francisco with Mark Lawrenson. <laughs> we kick off this week with Sporting Bluff. Gary, Rory and James, your question concerns West Ham's mercurial Italian striker, Paolo Di Canio. Here he is, rustling the onion bag against Derby. Now, Di Canio was due to go to Manchester United recently, but why, according to the eccentric Italian, did the transfer fall through? Mike. Paolo Di Canio couldn't go to Manchester United because Mussolini came to him in a dream and told him to stay put. Paolo Di Canio couldn't go to Manchester United because in a past life he was a Roman soldier who died in Lancashire. <laughs> Paolo Di Canio couldn't go to Manchester United because he was scared his piranha fish would be murdered. What sort of thing? <laughs> A fish with teeth might be killed. <laughs> so, Gary's team, was it Mussolini, the Roman Empire, or piranha fish? You're a Mussolini fan, aren't you, David? What's this got to do with me? <laughs> David was in the New Year's Honours list, you know. David's been made into a Grade 2 listed building, haven't you? <laughs> Let me just say, it's nice to have Gary back, um, because last week I had to sit next to Linford Christie. I knew there'd been another show. <laughs> This is exactly what happened with Gary at the end of his international career. He's sitting at home, he puts a telly on, he goes, Oh, on England to play. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that? It must be a repeat. No, no, no. <laughs> but you weren't on holiday. No. I know full well. And, you know, if the jurors are watching, you made the right decision, because I was with them on the night and she looked over 16 to me as well. So. <laughs> Although it could have gone the wrong way. You're normal, you nearly lost the case, didn't you? He called Alan Hansen as a character witness and he spent nine and a half hours criticising the defence barrister. <laughs> Why couldn't he take his piranhas to Manchester with him, then? Well, that's, that's the question, isn't it? If it's one of those... They'd be all right. I mean, Posh Spice could... She could swim with piranhas, wouldn't they? Quite safely. <laughs> They'd assume she'd already been stripped to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> piranhas, what's the third one? It's Romans. 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 Oh, what were you in a past <laughs> life? He <You> never passed. <laughs> <laughs> David, what were you in a past life? Oh, sorry, you're still in I'm your still past in life, it. aren't you? <laughs> I think I'll go for the really... Silly one, the piranhas. Well, I, think, I think, well, he has got I know, fish. Keeps, I read it somewhere, he, so he, he read it's it, worth he read it somewhere. OK, so you think that Jonathan was telling the truth. Let's see if you're right. So, Jonathan was telling the truth. Paolo Di Canio revealed that he couldn't go to Manchester United because, for three weeks, the fish man who feeds my piranhas has been saying, don't go, because if I do, he will murder my piranhas. I say, I definitely won't go, don't murder my piranhas. They are like kids to me. <laughs> Which is bad news for his kids, who he evidently keeps in a tank. <laughs> United captain Roy Keane has now become embroiled in a row over whether or not Di Canio should be allowed to bring his killer piranhas to Old Trafford. We don't want to be associated with that kind of cold-eyed, senseless, crazed violence, said the fish. 
Any footballer like Paolo Di Canio becomes eligible to play for their country of residence after just five years. If anyone's interested, I'm starting a fund to buy Phil Neville a five-year holiday in Uzbekistan. <laughs> David, Jonathan and Kevin, your question concerns the heroic achievements of James Hare and his partner Matthew Pinsent. Here they are rewriting rowing history at last year's World Championships. Great Britain respond. The Italians are closing as Great Britain just take it. It's goal for Great Britain in the men's Cox pair. We're on for it. Two hours to go. Have Great Britain done enough? It's close. It's close. It's a photo finish. Confirmation, Great Britain have won it. They've given it to us. Great Britain first, Yugoslavia second. <laughs> that was James and Matthew winning the World Cox and the World Coxless pairs with only two hours rest in between. But what was their secret? Gary's team? Between the two finals, we each ate a bucket of jelly babies. Between the two finals, Matthew and James relaxed and watched through the keyhole. <laughs> Between the two finals, Matthew and James played Monopoly. Before we start on that, can I just welcome Kevin to the show? Because uh, you've come all the way from New York City, haven't you, Kevin? And David's rushed straight here from LA. Lady Boys Anonymous. Uh. So it's a mess, uh, <laughs> I just want to prove that, that, that Kevin is, in fact, the, the Gary Lineker of the USA. Because uh, <laughs> we've got some footage of him trying to explain soccer to the US public. Now, there's lots of ways to score a goal. You can strike the ball low and hard and on the ground. It's called a worm burner. <laughs> worm burner? A worm burner, of course it is! <laughs> Gary knows these terms, right? Oh, I'm very familiar with them. Look at your worm burners, were you, Gary? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not the slow trickle for six inches over the line. <laughs> Is, is, is Gary a big name in the US? Oh, everybody knows Gary. Just Absolutely. four letters. What are you talking about? Just four letters? <laughs> Gary. Oh, Gary. I get it. <laughs> he is coming up with this stuff yeah. all the time. All the time. It's just off the top of his head. Do you know what goal side, goal side means or track back? Track no, back. no, no. Track back. You got hold of the wrong bloke, mate. <laughs> No, I, I am actually very try, happy try to be here. Two million yen. That... Let Mike speak, please, oh, David. Sorry, sorry I'd love to. It's Kevin, chance. by the way. Kevin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mike. No, I, I just. I'm going uh, Mike twice. Yeah, twice. I called you Mike twice. Yeah, all through the show, but we thought we wouldn't tell you. <laughs> I've always wanted, <laughs> wanted to meet uh, Sue Barker, so. I mean, <laughs> <it's my favorite. laughs> I'm Kevin, Sue, Sue, Gary, Gary, four, letter. four letters. Sound like <laughs> Gary. <laughs> no, you don't want the deaf on this show. That's oh, not fair. Oh, <laughs> I won't have that. <laughs> if, it was, if there was a deaf guy's <laughs> penis, then it would be all right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny, maybe. That's my penis. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're stepping on my penis. <laughs> you know, after the show, you might want to keep calling yourself Mike. I think. Uh, <laughs> I go up there with your judo moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a story. One time we had the, when the field of sportsmen on, <laughs> and we had uh, Bob Nudd, the top, the top, top fisherman on. We had this judo bloke, and after we went down for a drink, what straight up to the judo guy and said, "I've done a bit of fishing myself." <laughs> Good half an hour going, really? I'm going, yeah, yeah. Mostly on the fly, and he's going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Gary wanders up and goes, not, not the fishing guy. <laughs> so what were the, were the question? There was a question a while ago, wasn't yeah, there? Because was was <laughs> you won two gold medals in the one day, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds impressive, though. One was for the sport, the other was you just won in the disco, the oops upside your head competition, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> I said, oops, upside your head. 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 I said, oops. I cut my ass doing that once in a disco. <laughs> no, don't go there. Seriously. <laughs> through the keel? Can't be that, can it? Have you been on through the keel? No, we've done over the drawbridge. It's a far bigger. <laughs> <laughs> So Mike's been saying we, we try to break Kevin, David. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as far I'm as we're your place, you can leave oh, my just... name. <laughs> <laughs> you called me Shirley last night. <laughs> I'm staying at the place. It's great. The butler makes me waffles every morning. It's fantastic. And ran into uh, Raul, the pool pool boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Gower loved me long time. Oh. <laughs> My name is Mike, by the way. <laughs> I'll be leaving immediately. So how have we done deaf people and foreigners? <laughs> well, 
what's, what's left? Corner's penis. <laughs> Have they ever done your place? Is Shez Lineker, the, uh, the, uh, the Leicester Love Shack, has that ever been on? <laughs> no. Well, oh, that'd be great. It'd be a dead giveaway. Old Lloyd would go for it. Who leave it out like this? That's what he says. Is he Filipino as well? <laughs> <laughs> Around the world with Jonathan Ross. <laughs> yeah, I can do them all, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> I'm in the bedroom, a shrine to Mike Lawrenson. Or even Mike, Mike Lawrenson. Lawrenson. <laughs> This mic thing. You see, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's the mic thing. Let's just standardise it. Everybody's called Mike. Everyone. Okay, that's so Mike much Sean. easier. <laughs> what was the other one? It was Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly, Monopoly, Jelly Babies. Monopoly. Monopoly. But you know, Monopoly can be an expensive game, especially if you land on a hotel in Mayfair, as Jamie Feaston recently discovered. <laughs> <laughs> Gary doesn't play Monopoly, do you, Gary? You're a Cluedo man. That's why he told me when he invited me round for a game. I should have realised it was merely code. I'm sitting there making small talk with Mrs. Lineker and Mark, and then in he walks with a skin-tight latex suit with his genitals hanging out, <laughs> claiming to be Professor Plums. <laughs> and yet he looks so wholesome. Um, what do you think, Captain? Um, I think, <laughs> for what it's worth, we're going to go for Jelly Babies. Jelly Babies, so you think that James is telling the truth? Let's see if you're right. Yes, unsurprisingly, James knew the answer. The rowers wolfed down jelly babies to restore their blood sugar levels. Different sports tend to have different nutritional requirements. At last year's Wimbledon, for instance, the competitors got through 400 weight of bananas. Mind you, all but three of those were peeled by Pete Sampras and pushed into other players' faces. <laughs> Matthew and James here are also the world indoor rowing champions, which is very different from the outdoor version in that there are no boats, no water and no tactics involved. There is one basic similarity, though. They're both dull as f***. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have three points and Gary's team have three points. <laughs> I am so sick <laughs> Time now for our second round, the unforeseen return of Photo Opportunity. Gary's team, what the devil is this all about? <laughs> is that Coxless? <laughs> Perhaps they were playing football and they didn't have any goalposts. <laughs> Picture it. Oh. Are they, um, Michael Barrymore's pool attendants? <laughs> When you're in the boat, James, you talk to each other. You chat during uh, races. During races, a little bit. I'll give a little bit of a. <laughs> but don't sort of chat about. Isn't it nice being on the river? Look at the lovely trees. Oh, there's a duck. I think it's a teal. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then take the Ooh. duck's head off. Yeah, take the duck's head off. Yeah. Well, you Occupational kill duck. hazard. Cool. Yeah. They sort of get clumped. You see them sort of. Sorry. Fresh. What is it they do again? Well, like, <laughs> sort of, they're sort of underwater. You just see their head sort of like going down a plug hole. Uh, Matt, Matt wants to stop, so let's go and help them out. And I thought uh, rain was boring for years! Oh, yeah. <laughs> but James, you know we had your uh, fiancée, Beverly Turner, on the show. I don't know how many of you saw that. We had the beautiful Beverly Turner on the show a few weeks ago. She was fantastic. Yeah, she's very good. Can I offer one critical note about your fiancée? <laughs> <laughs> she ahead. does tend to hog the duvet. And the... <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me, cos I was in the middle, but Mrs Lineker was freezing! <laughs> she was freezing! Yeah. It was wrong. It was selfish, that's all. Yeah. She's had a lustful look in her eye ever since. And at least I think I've done you a favour, because now you know, at least when she shuts her eyes, she won't only be thinking of Sir Stephen Redgrave. So, <laughs> a bit of variety. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Mike, by the way. <laughs> Mike, and this is Mike yeah. as well. We're all Mike. Mike. <laughs> What's happening here is two blokes are walking along, carrying a boat naked, except for a pair of boots. Fantastic. Yeah. He's a genius. But so what crazy. is it the photo... <laughs> what is a photo opportunity for? That's um, blokes raise walking money. along. To raise money for... Oh, Golden Balls' is charity. Red Graves, Steve Red Graves. Yes, he's charity. correct for three points. Yes. 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 <laughs> In fact, it was part of a new charity calendar featuring the members of Putney Rowing Club, the proceeds of which go to the Stephen Redgrave Charitable Trust. Row it? Rowing. <laughs> 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 and my wife did that one. She, she was reading this review about this bloke who never had a, a, fight, a fight in his life. And she said to me, he said he, he's never had a fight in his life, but it says when he was at Oxford, he was very keen on rowing, and once he'd rowed for the college. <laughs> <laughs> David's team, here's Leeds United's bad boy striker Alan Smith, but explain the costume, please. That's, that's not Alan Smith. That's an American. That's Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he good? 
Oh, he's right. Dirty no. player. But Arsenal are dirty he's... players as well. No, we just get sent off a lot. <laughs> oh, you big gay bear. It is the same thing. <laughs> it's not Don't get all queenie on us. They have a bad bunch. Let's ask the ladies and gentlemen, are Arsenal a dirty team? Yeah. 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 Compared to Leeds. <laughs> Who are dirty? Leeds or Arsenal? <laughs> Oh, this is what we've come to, uh, is it? <laughs> we should get, they should get this lot in for question time. Yeah. 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 Is it a schoolboy yeah. trying to impress his horny Canadian teacher? <laughs> I heard about her. She was a cracker. Well, well, you know, the saddest thing about that whole case was seeing Roy every day, taking the train down out of the court, trying to squeeze himself into a schoolboy's <laughs> uniform. <laughs> the new boy. The naughty new boy. <laughs> Minding my own business. I know you come in, you never offend anybody, and you never. get it all, don't you? We know his work in America. Yeah. Uh, we really do. On a quiet day, you can actually hear it across the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the official Leeds book of alibis? <laughs> 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 you know what? If Jonathan King's watching right now, he thinks this is the shopping channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have two of those, get him here by Thursday. I'm lonely. <laughs> Is it to do with polishing up the image of Leeds? Or no, better? it's not to do with His that. image? Nope. Have Leeds released an album of choir and choral music? <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas over here? Gavin? I mean, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> That's his nickname, isn't it? The choir boy. Oh, go on, then I'll give you one. That's wow. Gavin, let me give you that. The answer! Leeds have hit a bad patch recently, but manager David O'Leary claims he's finally sorted out the defence. Just say you were at home watching TV all evening, he says. <laughs> Alan Smith would have played for England at under-18 level, but a scheduled tournament in the Middle East had to be cancelled over fears of an outbreak of violence. Our safety simply cannot be guaranteed, said a spokesman for Hezbollah. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have three points and Gary's team exactly. have seven. <laughs> Time for round three, which finds us asking the question, what's going on, David's team? Have a look at this. I always said that I would like to stay in the club. Please uh, don't go. And Milan. Please and Milan important go. to the club. <laughs> Please don't go, Abel. Please. I want your babies. <laughs> it's going to be oh, hard work. <laughs> no, I'm like, let's just... just, just <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you explain that, David Steve? Nick, why are you always well, asking questions? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it because, gets a bit irritating. Because, well, Can't we just talk learn. like friends? You tell me for once. That makes sense. <laughs> well, I do, generally. I eventually will tell you. Why bother with the rigmarole? <laughs> the rigmarole? The what? <laughs> He's wearing yeah. the rigmarole. <laughs> Can we see that picture again? Who's that? It's um, Abel Javier. Z Javier. Xavier, you see. Yeah. First of all, I thought it was a picture oh, yeah. of Matthew Kelly, but in negative form. <laughs> 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 it looks like. okay. Is that the look you're going for, David? You bought the top part, you're oh, saving up for the Jimmy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Abel was leaving the team. They were, yeah. were flogging, right? Being and, and, sold on. And, to, and, do you know who was to going to? Yes. Liverpool, Is it a correct answer for three points? Oh, yes. Abel Xavier will pick up an astonishing £4 million personal windfall for moving to Liverpool. Mind you, once he's insured his car, he'll only have about ten grand left. <laughs> Paul Gascoigne is now set to tour schools with Tony Adams and Paul Merson. Adams will be warning kids of the dangers of drink, Merson will tell them of the dangers of drugs, while Gazza is hoping to find out what really happened when Spot went to the seaside. <laughs> Gaza's son is called Regan after the character in The Sweeney. If it had been a girl, it would have been called Bird with the Big Knockers in the Bath with Carter. <laughs> Gary's team, what in heaven's name is happening here? One, punch. We've got two, three, one more, four. So, what was going on there then? This is an extract from um, the Catholic Kung Fu film, Enter the Choir Boy. <laughs> it's from Extreme Religion on Sky One, isn't it? You know? <laughs> when vicars attack, that's what it's from. <laughs> well, they're just waiting for the vicar of Dibley. <laughs> Steve Davis is warming up. <laughs> 
I actually quite enjoyed not doing it for four weeks. Mm. Yes, Gary. We you went on your own there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like um, Vickers learning because maybe people are coming in and threatening them a bit. Is the correct answer for three points? That was oh, Father yeah. Paul Andrew of West London, who is part of a growing trend of vicars taking up the sport of Taekwondo. Last year, there were over a thousand attacks on clergymen, although 967 of those can be accounted for by Rory bashing the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> the word Taekwondo comes from Korea. Tai means to jump, Kwon means to punch, and Do means art, as opposed to Fido, which means lunch. <laughs> At the end of that round, David's team have six points and Gary's team have ten. <laughs> it's time for the BBC lawyers to get very nervous as we play field the sportsman. Gary and Rory, you're up first if you'd like to take your positions in the traditional way. You have 90 seconds to work out who is between you. Take the smart thing, you look a bit smarter. Yeah, I had a complaint at home. A friend of mine said she tuned in and thought everyone looked ever so smart apart from Rory, who she described as a bit pikey. That's what she said. <laughs> Can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> OK, and your time starts now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is that it? Are we finished? <laughs> is it David oh, Ginola? <laughs> Have you... <clears throat> Gary, you... Ooh! <laughs> Gary, you didn't tell me anything about this. Oh, is Ryan. it a girl? <laughs> I know it's been a long oh. time, Rory. <laughs> What's she got? Something in it. It's the pizza delivery man. <laughs> Someone trying to get rid of Posh Spice's new single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hang around the back for a bit, Gary, OK? <laughs> Rory. Yes. Rory. 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 What? Rory. Rory. Are we talking... Do you think we should discuss this for a while? Discuss? Oh, oh it's that oh. line. Oh. It? Come on, man. It's, uh, it's a name. It's, it's something just, like... It's just champion of... Uh, uh, Shannon. Of Shannon. Sharon uh, Drew. Shelley Drew. I'll give you Sorry. three points for that. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay, David and Jonathan, if you'd like to take your positions. <clears throat> As always, Rory gets all the fun. <laughs> James, is it true that your nickname was your James Cracknell? Was it Cracker? Is your nickname Cracker? Because over here we've got Cracker, Slacker, and Hairy Chewbacca. Can we have our second mystery guest, please? <laughs> Are your knees creaking, David? <laughs> and your time starts now. Eight. It's a ladder. <laughs> uh, but it's a diving thing. <laughs> I'm going to go to the top. <laughs> There's something in the way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a... It's a lady. <laughs> I've never met one with their knees together before. I do apologise. <laughs> That's not through me. What is it? Is it a... Is it a half, half wooden lady? <laughs> Hey, let's push you over for a laugh. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Who's going to... So what time did you get off work? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lady in a chair. It's got to be a tennis Ten lady. Mm. A it? tennis umpire lady. Jane Harvey. Well, That's the, the one. Umpire. Yes, okay. I've watched him on TV. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the scores at the end of that round are David's team with nine points and Gary's team with 13.
We come to the end of the show by playing the name game, and this week all of our clues will be the names of teams. The team in the front goes first, which is Gary's team, which passes those along to Rory, please. As many names as you can in 90 seconds. Starting. Now, um, Paolo De Canio staying here. West Ham. Very good. Uh, this is the team that just won the African Nations Cup. Laurent, the brilliant Cameron. right, yeah, very good. Um, this, I think, is a rowing... Oh, it's your rowing club, I think. The Ant Club. Uh, this is the rugby union team. Um, the second word is a number of bottoms. Two? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's the plural. It's a plural word. It ends in an S. For God's sake. No. 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 Another word for uh, your bottom. Your buttocks. Uh, but, yeah, shorter than buttocks. Butter. But. <laughs> Barker's butter. But Barker's butt. Yeah. This is. Oh, first no. one. Glenn Miller song. Pardon me, boy. Is that the? Jack. Choo choo. God, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I did that now. Um, no, Chattanooga's the first word, and the second word are people who. Who look. look? The people on guard are on patrol duty. <laughs> no, the people look out. are. Oh, look out for God's sake! Look out! Okay. Look out! Look out! So, guys, you've moved on to eighteen ten. We'll win it for you. <laughs> I don't know whether you've seen this show no, before, before, Mike Kevin, but. Um, <laughs> This I is the bit when I come into my own and we almost always romp to victory. <laughs> Time starts now. All right, this is the first part of this name is the place where JR was killed and Kennedy was bumped off. Dallas. And Dallas. it's the team I think you used to Cowboys. play for. Yeah, oh, no, the team kicks. you used to play for, the sidekicks. There you go. OK, these guys are... Like... Oh, I tell you, the first part is a place in America where you get a lovely clam chowder. <laughs> a creamy... New Orleans, no, near Boston. Cape Cod. Boston. No, it's, uh, if it was our country, but fresher somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> New England. New England. OK, and the second name is they're very, they're very keen on their own country. They're, they're very keen. They won the Super Bowl this year. Patrick. Patrick. New England Patriots. Yes. This is what Jonathan King dreams about. <laughs> when you were young, what were you? Don't answer that, Nick. <laughs> A boy. A boy. Yeah. And if everyone here was that, we would... All inc inc all yeah, all yes. boys. Thank all you, boys. Right. Oh, my God. OK, here we go. <laughs> you see Gary over there? He's not a lady, is he? He's not a missus. He is a... If it, uh, no, he's not a miss. <laughs> what is he really? Mister. He's not a missus, he's a... Chuggy twat. Yeah. <laughs> Mister. Mister. Okay, yeah. Mister. Mr. And if you look what was either side of his head, he has... Huge ears. ears. Mysterious. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'll give you that. All right, Mysterious. <laughs> and the second name is, these are people who are, say, smaller than, than you, but, but slightly bigger than Tom Cruise. Dwarfs. Yeah, there's seven yeah. of them with Snow White. They're the ones. All, All right. right. If you eat tripe, you like this stuff. Stomach. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, but what's the name Awful. for tripe? Awful. And, uh -huh. it, and if you like it a lot, you would say, I like it... Awfully. Awfully much. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's 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 so, David's team have 14, but this week's winner is Gary's team with 18. <laughs> David, Jonathan and Kevin, Gary, Rory and James. We're all, off... <laughs> We're all off to find out if Kevin wants to do Gary's job on this show as well. <laughs> My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs>2 bites of lager and a pack of crisps on gold, while the sex and shopping on UK TV people is all kicking off here and there at home.